Hi. Um, today I would like to tell you about another motivation methodology which should be very different to Maslow that we discussed previously or Harrisburg theories which were also presented. Um, so today I would like to start with uh, the equity theory which was created by uh, John Adams in uh, the mid of 60s of 20th century. Uh, beside when it was created, the key question here is what for we can use it. In the equity theory, the key aspect is that every person develops an input to output ratio in which we calculate by ourselves what we give to the, um, to the person that hires us and what we get as the result of that. Giving you the example, the input part, that's the time that you spend at work, that's the education that you have, and the outcome, that's the salary that you receive, the promotion that you might receive. Basing on the example, you can just say yourself, I've been working here 10 years, I have higher education, and I got 3,000 euro per month as my salary. Calculations like that, these are something absolutely obvious, but thinking about equity theory in here, we compare the out of the ratio that we got by ourselves with the ratio which we think the other people have. And here, the key is what we think, because that's our personal opinion about others' work. So you do it like that. You can say that I've been working 10 years in a hospital, I'm a nurse, and I got one and a half thousand euro per month. Doing exactly the same job in Norway, I would get three times higher salary. And then you can say that's unfair. We do similar things when you say, well, I've been in here in this company for 10 years. Um, I know everyone, I spend 10 hours a day at work. He, he's new, just first year in here. And he spends in here just six hours a day and he was promoted, not me, that's unfair. That's exactly how equity theory works because you compare your input to output ratio with your coworker or, co or the people who works in other company. Uh, why or what might be potentially uh, a problem in here? Well, the problem is that we compare our personal opinion about others' work by the fact that someone is new in the company and that works just six hours a day, it does not automatically mean that that person has worse results. Because from the perspective of the management, it might look like that, that this person is new. Yeah, he spends on here just six hours a day, but he generates twice higher income for the company than me. Uh, the problem is that we have our personal feelings in here, and that's how we observe, that's how we look at that. And um, that's a challenge for our company. Because even if what we think is not true from the perspective of the company, they have to take that into consideration. And even if they think that your calculations about input to output ratio are, they have just, there is no sense in that. And uh, comparing your salary in Poland to the salary in Norway makes also no sense. That's how people think. And if they don't like their input to output ratio, they might try not to work that hard anymore. Or they might try to ask you for a higher payment, or they might just say, fine, enough, and I would like to change my workforce. So, summing up, equity theory, that's a calculation. I calculate the input to output ratio, what I give to the company, what I get as the result, and you compare it with the other people in the same company, other company, other country, and by verifying if the ratios are equal, mine is higher, mine is lower, you make your decisions if you like it or you don't like it. The key aspect, that's very personal observation, which might be very different from your perspective and from the perspective of the company. And still, the company has to take that into consideration. Thank you.